So it's two levels, two levels of compassion. One level is more uh, biological factor. That compassion, no need training, <coughs> no need help of wisdom, spontaneous, like compassion from mother to their children, or compassion or sense of concern of your relatives. At least those relatives, you see, show you positive attitude. <laughs> Even those, those relatives, they say the negative re attitude, forget. <laughs> even, even, you see, instead of the sense of concern, of well-being, even you should wish more trouble for them, like that. So these are uh, biological factors and very much oriented about the other's attitude. Now, second level of compassion is now beyond that, not oriented the other's uh, attitude. So disregard other's attitude, but still they are human beings. And furthermore, they are sentient beings. Uh, why we love ourselves? Not the reason we kind to ourselves, no. But simply, I want happiness. I do not want suffering. Because of that, they say, I have the right to overcome suffering. So that logical process, the other, rest of six million human beings, all have same, all do not want suffering, want happiness. So they also deserve, you see the uh, to achieve happiness. And they passing through difficulties, we must respond, sense of concern for them. So that is <coughs> genuine compassion, second level compassion. That compassion, uh, not sort of biased, not oriented attitude, but oriented being itself, uh, to the person or to the sentient being. So that unbiased, that kind of compassion, you know, through training, through reasoning, as I mentioned earlier, today's reality. My future depends on them. So I have to take their interest, ultimately for my own interest, like that. 